It is Brighton Beach. <laughs> Manchester United. What? Oh, guys. What the fuck did we lose that game? In that manner of the way we lost that game in two disallowed goals and then to lose it. Last couple of minutes of added time injury. Jao Pedro with the winner. We got Brighton up at the pitch again. Get me. Brighton and them man did us hard, bro. No diddy, bro. They did us. No diddy, bro. It's no diddy. I, I, I don't know. I'm so frustrated. I'm frustrated because today my stream, my watch along messed up today. Uh, several times I had to restore it and it never went well. And then we do end up losing at this. If I knew my watch along stream was going to end up in fuckeries, then that was a bad sign. It started off bad and it ended bad. Because we ended up losing. Manchester United, the same old shit that we guys have been seeing for a very long time since under Eric Ten Hag, still appears. To concede those goals, criminal, criminal, absolute criminal, bruv. To lose like this lunchtime, lunchtime kickoff. I even had my lunch. All I had is breakfast. I, I skipped lunch. To see a stomach a loss, a defeat. I had to stomach a defeat. Sometimes I want to scream out Eric Ten Hag out because I'm seeing the same stuff that I've been seeing since last season. And it still appears. But, you know, I want to keep my composure. But I do feel like it's an Eric Ten Hag out coming soon because you can't accept this nonsense. How do you start a game off with Harry Maguire, who's been crap anyway? He'd he done well last week, but you would have thought the latest time is time to shine. Yeah, Marcus Rashford, who hasn't been playing well for the whole entire of last season, and even this season at the start, the community showed the first game of the season, absolutely crap. Mason Mount, mountain back, mountainless. What? Ma you don't even Mountain Dew because you the energy you give us crap. It's not a good flavor, Mountain Dew. Fucking hell, bro. This sometimes is just hard. It's hard. Like, there were some good moments, but the goals we conceded from the right-hand flank, those crosses, the, 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 the cross from Mitoma and the cross as well from Adingra, all on Maserari's side, and then everyone else is sleeping. Two goals we conceded. Our defense was sleeping. They were sleeping. We conceded the goal, Maguire was sleeping. We conceded the goal, Delit, Ma uh, Martinez, and, and Dallo, they were all sleeping to, for us to concede that goal and Pedro to score. It's not good enough. It's absolutely not good enough. We sure would have won that game because we had two disallowed goals. You know, I'm fuming right now and I'm reactionary. Yeah, I'm emotional right now because I can't accept the fact that we lost that game in that type of manner, guys. In that type of manner. It's just a disgrace, you know, and, and I can see it in a couple of months time. Eric Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag out, Ruth Van Nistelrooy in, you know, bring Ruth in because Eric Ten Hag is a fraud. You can't just stick with these guys that let you down. You know, Bruno Fernandes was trash today. Rashford, I can't believe you. You had to come off, bro. We had to take um, Rashford off, Mount off, off at half time. But guys, let's talk about the game because the first half, which I thought was a very bad first half for Manchester United. Even though we had an opportunity with Ahmed Diallo, beautiful play as well, brilliant play. And then to be able to just feed in Mark Rashford, he gave him the wrong pass, the wrong ball, which made him, who, who passed it just behind Mark Rashford, instead of passing it into space for Rashford to run on to get that goal. So the thing you're making of our players sometimes is just, ah, we need good players. We need players who make decisive, factors good decisions and get that goal because so many of our players that we have i.e marcus trashford they make the dumb decision they make the wrong decision and i'm tired of that man i can't take stuff like this and i cannot stomach it hurts it hurts the soul guys but that first half mm -mm. and then we continue that goal well back why are you always scoring up against us do you not like us we're your first football club you should be missing those chances we're your boyhood team. You came from our academy. But yet, each, since you left us, you always score against us. Well, back to you not like us. You must hate us because we let you go. Because Louis van Gaal sold you. You know, I know it hurt you when you had to leave and you went to Arsenal and then you went to this place and you end up in Brighton. 
Oh my god, guys. I just don't know what to say. That goal that we conceded, Mitomo. Cross low cross pass. Um Maserari. What was you doing? You tried to defend that. It went past you. Maguire. What was you doing, bro? What was you doing? And Martinez, what was you doing? Because you were sleeping too. And then World Pack just saw the sort of space and ate it up and scored the goal. And it was 1 0 to Brighton because Brighton wanted to brighten us up. Bing! That's what happened to us. Bing! The light bulb on top of our head. Or, I mean, their head. And it was half time. 0 0. 1 0 to, to Brighton. You're thinking, you know, you, you better turn up. You better make substitution. The manager made a substitution. Xerxes coming on at half time, taking off Mason Mount. Manchester United equalized. Ahmed Diallo, who equalized for us with a deflection coming off the defense of Brighton. But at that time, you think, yeah, we can come back because we already had a goal disallowed from Rashford when Rashford equalized immediately off the world back, which was taken away from me. We equalized from Ahmed and then Alejandro Granacho, who we forced the winning goal but we didn't notice that it took a deflection off of Xerxes who was in an offside position and another goal disallowed taken away from us by VAR you're thinking okay we're gonna take the point it's all right you know it's okay but Jao Pedro Simon Adingra coming on as well with effect impact straight away impact to cross it in and Jao Pedro find himself in space to head it in and make and we lose 2-1 Three points gone gone just like that and i just can't take it i just can't take it because we should have went away with something in that game at least a point but to lose like that last minute guys get yourself together man eric turn you got a lot of things to answer i'm just not impressed I, I just don't like what i've seen and what i'm seeing right now in the, in the games that i saw in preseason style is still not good enough yeah, I can see some pattern of play. I see good passes, but it's not consistent. We allow teams to to come against us, have a go at us. What a, what, what what has happened to my football club? I, I I don't know. I'm I'm pissed. I'm steaming. I'm fuming inside. I just want to punch the screen. My stream didn't work today. Uh, my watch long was messed up. Everything didn't work for me. Like I'm so angry right now. I'm so annoyed, Manchester United fans. You know what? But guys. Let's talk about the players because those players, Marcus Rashford, I, 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 I can't say anymore. I want this guy sold. I want this guy out of my football club. You know, get out, Marcus Rashford. You're not good. You've lost it. You earn 325k. You can't even do the simple things right. You look stupid on the ball. You make the wrong decisions. I'm tired of this. Harry Maguire, please get sold to. Like, seriously, he was crap. He was good last week. He saved us. But we all know that we don't need you. And we won't be needing you throughout the season. Ahmed Diallo, thank you for the equaliser. You could have slipped in Rashford. But then again, Rashford can't add up simple maths equations. He would have probably ended up missing it. And then we would have been frustrated and just looked at Rashford. Said, Ahmed gave you a very good ball and you missed your opportunities. We saw that for Casemiro's pass a couple of weeks ago. Xerxes came on, had a bit of impact as well. But again, couldn't do much. Bruno Fernandes, I, I didn't see him today. I did not see Bruno Fernandes today. He was missing. It was, where's Wildo? Where's Bruno? Where is Bruno? We don't see the mother sucker. But again, it is. Man of the match today, I got to give it to nobody. Donkey of the match. You, you Rashford, you forever going to get the donkey of the match. As long as you continue to perform like that, you will get donkey of the match, man. But man of the match, you guys, bro. Here's what it is. Guys, you guys let me know what your thoughts are. In the comments as well who do you think your man of the match was your donkey of the match and as well are you eric tenog out now after two games actually after three games in two defeats one win well we did draw technically against manchester city and lost on penalties and we won against fulham but we lost this game it is what it is guys i just can't i just can't and let's see what happens against liverpool but during, during in on monday for the catch-up to discuss with the man of this game. But hey, another one bites us. We go again next week Sunday against Liverpool. Peace.